Hi everyone, my name is Vincent Go and welcome to the second part of this tutorial. Um, in the first uh, part, uh, we made not this head but the texture that you see here, which is actually um, we fake and bake the lighting in a, inside the diffuse. So basically, what you see here is just the lighting here. There is no lighting at all in the map, as you see, the light are are black and there is just the ambient and if I take a uniform color like this one and put it green and plug it you see that there is really no light information at all or no normal nothing so in case you haven't done the first part I invite you to click on the link uh, that should appear on the screen and go to the, the first video so, in this uh, part, what we are going to do is actually tweak a bit the result because, um, as you can see here, uh, the result is nice, but if you compare to the first one, you, you see way more details and uh, way more details. So, the first thing that I have done is actually, it's what is making this right is the gradient map which were different so I copy this one here and going back to my this one and I paste it here so here this was the old one and as you see there is not enough contrast between especially for the high value so just let's move it here and let's plug it here and already you see that it's way better uh, but uh, what I did as well is, uh, I'm going to show you this after, sorry, w what I've done as well is change the mask here, because actually the um, this which we use, this is the thick snap mask and we use it also to to fake the, the subsurface scattering on it, it's really subtle, you don't see it a lot, and it has to be subtle, so in order to achieve this, what I did is I tweaked a bit first, uh, I took the bitmap, as you see I invert it and I play a bit with the levels, especially here, and then finally I took the result of this pixel processor here, and I multiply, I I'm took with the, um, the position value as well, and I uh, made a blend with min, which means that it keeps only the darkest values, and finally I multiply this here so you see that the mask right now is really subtle but we want to it to be like that be, if not it won't be it will be it will be too strong anyway you can tweak it later on but so far we're happy with that and I blur it a bit so you see that the final uh, what this map will add will be really subtle it will be that and here, as you see, I just added it by a screen mode. So if you compare this to this, it's extremely subtle. But even I think it's not necessary. But it may it adds a bit, not a lot, but a bit. Another thing that I did is I played a bit more with the the value to get something like that uh, with the gradient map values. You will see which gives actually, uh, I noticed that if you play um, with the gradient editor you can have really cool results uh, meaning that, uh, imagine that basically the the right part is the one which, uh, which is going to be where the main line come from but you can also fake on the other side like a, a rim line which is this one and for example I can change the color and you see that it works really well and for example I put it like like that and if you want to be more or less uh, spread you can play with with the gradient and obtain really interesting results really efficiently so I invite you to play with that so basically the, the three values in the middle are going to define the, the color uh, that you want for the skin and the, the one that top left one uh, and the top right one uh, in, in my case are going to define 
the main light for the right and the, the rim light for for this one. So if I push a bit the value, you see that I can. It's as if there is a spot behind. So that's what we call it rim light generally in, in, in when you use the, do a bit of lighting. And it works well. After, if you go here, of course, you you start to see that it's not perfect, but for a fake li lighting, it, it works pretty well. So I'm going to diminish that a bit, like that, and to spread it a bit more. Okay, so this is our model. Now, what we are going to do? And the last time we we made these two pixel processor nodes, which were really cool, of course, but um, and we create we expose the variable to change the rotation of the map and as we told um, what this pixel processor do right now is basically making rotate around the blue axis but it would be also really interesting to be able to, to rotate around the green axis here uh, which means for the head it would be to rotate around the head so that's what we're going to do now so, in order to do that, uh, we are going to go back to. Oh, hmm. I hope it doesn't crash. It, uh, no, that's fine. We're we are going to go inside here, and basically, I showed you last time that I create created a VG rotate um, uh, rotate color, normal color, which is fine. But the thing is, we are stuck uh, as it was made to normal maps at the beginning. It it just rotates um, uh, the the red and green channel, and in our case, what we want to do, as we said, is to rotate and around the green. So we have, we want to change the red and blue channel. So either I I uh, go here, recreate a new node, or what I'm, I'm going to do is actually uh, swap the channel temporarily, <laughs> in a temporary way. Uh, so actually I will um, I will swap the, the green and blue. So we are going to, to make, just before to do that, we are going to make the, the computing and then I'm going to swap, uh, swap them again. So I didn't do it. I don't think there is a swap here directly. You have the swizzle, so I'm going to use the swizzle float. Uh, float uh, two in our case. And actually, I will say, you know what? I want the green, which is white, and the Z, which is blue, like that. Um, do I have to do one by one? I think I, I have to do one by one because. If not, uh, I won't be able to swizzle float one, two, three, four. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it. The three, four, one, two, three, four. There is. I may not be optimal, I will uh, optimize after, but uh, I want to get my uh, ideas clear before to do it. So, X, Y, Z, and the W, which is alpha. And right now, what I'm going to do is to do the first um, get float, get float 2. Oh, sorry, vector for uh, Let's type float only. Float 2, two, 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 two vector float 2, this one. And I'm going to put x and z. So I'm cheating. And another one, control d. So this time, oh, this one is not changed. That's a good point with the new interfa interface is that you see directly if something is wrong. Okay, and a vector floor. A vector float floor. So this is my new normal color. Actually, where actually right now the the red and green channel are actually the red and blue one. And now I'm going to use that again. So I type 
BG in my case, and I want to rotate normal colors. And uh, so let's take color sampler here, and here it was the rotation value. I'm going to try to make it right. Actually, this we are going to create a new value. We are going to see why. So first, I create a float just to test, but after we'll replace by a, a variable. So let's put it here. And so right now we have a new value. If I do like that, it won't work in theory. Uh, you see, it breaks everything. But at least uh, you can see that it gives something. <laughs> something wrong but something so if I go here for example and I play a bit with this value you see that okay it does something so actually it rotates but the thing is as we said the blue and the green was inverted so we're going to invert them again so I'm going to do control shift D to plug all the things like that so x y z w perfect and the w is fine the x is fine but this one we swap them back and we are going to use a vector float form I could have this one and in theory I, I didn't try before so in theory it's good but set as output node and ok, it seems way better why is my head here? ok so right now if I play with this value hmm, maybe something is unplugged let me check that I'm going to expose it right now so we have energy rotation here and I'm going to create a new one that I call um, actually why I call it energy rotation because actually it's not energy rotation it's uh, I say red rotation and here this one is RB rotation, red blue rotation We want it to be float for between 0 and 1, perfect. So we go back in the pixel processor node here, edit, and here we are going to use a get float, and the value will be red blue rotation. And we plug it here. Okay, so let's see if it works. So we have this two value, this one should turn, yes. And the other one, in theory I have to change the for some reason. I that's weird. Seems to work but doesn't have any effect. A thing that I have to do as well is to make sure that this one is affected the same way, so I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to replace that and that maybe that's why we we didn't feel it sorry for the noise still at work doing my pose so let's see if it works now so I go back here I'm going to click that way and sorry I'm going to click that way do that and say I want an angle here and now let's see For some reason, it's changing, but not the value the way I want. It's extremely weird because I can see the color moving. This is good. This is good, but it doesn't seem to affect the parameter the way I want so ah yes 
no this one is the this one no problem it works since the beginning so if I do that it works but this one it's causing problem we can see that no ah, I know why it's because actually we took uh, as we extract the green channel and we turn around it actually changed the color but everything but the green color so what we're going to do actually is not rotate around the green color because it doesn't do anything so I'm going to go back here and so in that case we say RNG uh, so red green um, we are going to do uh, green blue will be better so let's go back here if we want to do green blue what we have to do is to put so the green here and the blue here and the red won't be affected so the blue is fine uh, and I'm going to put you know what I'm going to use a new value which is if you could type X right now you see that it switch swap the two like that so I'm going to it's perfect I will do as if uh, it was intended to, to explain you this new feature of uh, 5.1 so I swap here well, fine and I have to in theory swap uh, so here we swap x, y in theory we have to swap it again no. let's see so here let's resume so I isolate x and I put Y here. Mm -hmm, no, it won't be exactly that. What I have to do is to say, okay, this one Z is green. Let's organize a bit because here, if not, so we say we want the color green and blue. So I will stick the green at the same place so it will be easier so I use X again so green is at the same place Z blue it's instead of red and red is instead of blue so perfect so now what we want to do is to say this one is fine and now this one I remove let's put it this way and this one and this one has to be inverted Oops, sorry, X this way. So let's try right now. If I double click here, I use this value and I move and it move correctly. And as you see this time it, it rotates around this axis like that. So right now you have this value if uh, you go here you can say okay let's I'm going to choose first the light angle according to this position for example if I want it to come from behind like that and now around the other position you play a bit with it and you do the way you want so that's it for this uh, video tutorial um, I hope it has been useful uh, once again if it's the case don't hesitate to um, to reach, uh, reach out it and uh, like it if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the comment um, I I think, uh, yeah, and after, as, as I told you, I can remove that, I can remove that. If you want to play a bit with the, the color, it's really up to you. You can, the gradient map is really going to define the style of your, of what you want to do. So you, you can really do quite cool stuff. And as I said, there is no like, everything is in the texture, so. It's, it's quite efficient. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.